Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Grade 1, Chapter 2, Lecture Number 1. The name of the unit is Provinces of Pakistan. The chapter Provinces of Pakistan is on page number 9. This lecture consists of nouns, the grammar part. Chapter number 2 will be completed in 4 lectures. Today is lecture number 1. So, let us begin with the lecture. Lecture number 1, the SLO which we are going to address in this chapter is recall and match common naming words with pictures from immediate environment. It is the grammar part and it is mentioned on textbook page number 12 and 13 workbook page number 9 and the summer pack page number 10 and 11. Let us start the lesson please. Kindly follow my instructions. Please open your textbook on page 12 and 13. The SLO is mentioned here on the top of the screen so that you can see what we are going to do today. But before we start the lecture, you have to grab your pencils and mention Lecture 1 homework on top of page number 12. This page is your home task activity which you will be doing after listening to this lesson. Why am I giving this as a homework? Because this page is to be done when you are going through the lesson and then you are going to pick up 10 nouns. I want you to apply this concept in the textbook which is for you to read and then once you read the whole te chapter you are going to write down 10 nouns here on the given lines which continue on page number 13 up till here. For this part of the page you have to encircle the correct spellings. These are also nouns so you will read them one by one row wise and you will select the correct spelling of the word. So, you have to read it also. So, lecture number 1 homework is page number 12. I hope you have written that on that page. So, let us start with the lesson. The grammar part says noun. Naming words are called nouns. Farmer, airport, burger, book. Farmer, airport, burger, book. To understand nouns even better, we are going to move on and revise the concept of noun which says noun is a name of a person, place or thing. Noun is the name of a person, place or thing. Sana lives in Quetta. She likes to eat apples. Sana lives in Quetta. She likes to eat apples. Sana is the name of the person. Koita is the place she lives in. And apples is the fruit she likes to eat. Keeping this definition in mind, let us repeat what are nouns. Every name we call is a noun. A rose. A doll, a hen, a crown. Let us look at some more examples of nouns. I am going to read these sentences one by one. Noun is the name given to people, places or things. 
when we read, write or speak a sentence, there is at least one noun in every sentence. So, there are some examples on the screen for you. I am going to read them one by one and then I will circle the nouns in the sentences. Sentence number one, the frog is sitting on a rock. The frog is sitting on a rock. You don't need to read out very fast, read slowly and have your focus on the sentence you are reading. So, we are looking for either people, places or something which is mentioned in this sentence and I can see is the word frog and the word rock in the sentence. So, there are two nouns in the sentence frog rock. Sentence number two, Amna is eating an apple. Amna is eating an apple. Amna is the person in this in the sentence and apple is the fruit she likes to eat. So, we have again two nouns, Amna, apple. Sentence number three, the train has stopped. The train has stopped. The sentence is about train and train is the noun in the sentence. Sentence 4, I live in Lahore. I live in Lahore. What is the name of the place in this sentence? Lahore. Sentence number 5. The name of my country is Pakistan. The name of my country is Pakistan. So, there are two nouns in the sentence once again, country and Pakistan. Country and Pakistan. There are some more examples in the form of pictures in front of you chair, elephant, pencil, doctor, eye, turkey. The frog is sitting on a rock. Amna is eating an apple. The train has stopped. I live in Lahore. The name of my country is Pakistan. Chair, elephant, pencil, doctor, I, turkey. A few more examples and I hope this time you will try to do it with me. Sentence number six, we can see with our eyes. We can see with our eyes. What are we talking about in this sentence? Eyes. Eyes. Number seven, I love strawberry ice cream. I love strawberry ice cream. What do I love? Strawberry and the ice cream of strawberry. So, there are two strawberry ice cream. Sentence number 8, there was an elephant in the zoo. There was an elephant in the zoo. What are we talking about in the sentence? Elephant. And where is the elephant? Is there a place mentioned in the sentence? Yes, you can see the elephant in the zoo. So, again two nouns, elephant and zoo. Let me zoom it for you, so you can have a better look once again. We can see with our eyes, 
I love strawberry ice cream. There was an elephant in the zoo. There are some more pictures on the screen. The first picture is about father, ice cream, daughter, best friend, dress and man. Now let's move on and practice what we have learned so far on workbook page number 9 and 10. Please open it. This is what your page number 1 will look like. Take your pencil and write lecture number 1 classwork on this part of the page, on the top part and on the bottom you need to write lecture number 1 homework which will continue on page number 10 also up till here. So let's practice nouns or naming words, naming words, we need to find names of things, people or object from the given questions. Question 1, choose an option from the following and ask your siblings if it is right or wrong. If you have a brother or a sister to help you out, you can take help from them. Otherwise, you can practice it on your own. Number one, nouns are also called what? Naming words. So option A says describing words, B says naming words. We have been practicing naming words. So, the word noun is for naming words. You will circle option B. Sentence number two. I am reading a book. The word book is a describing word or it is a name of something. Yes, it is a name of an object or thing and naming words are called nouns. Number three, which one is a naming word? A burger or eat? Burger is something we eat. Burger is the name of a food item. So, burger is the right option for number three. Number four, identify naming word from a sentence. I am eating biryani. What am I eating? I, biryani. What am I eating? Let's read the sentence again. I am eating biryani. What food is discussed in the sentence? Biryani, that is the name of the food. Number 5, identify the plural naming word for flower. One flower is flower, more than one are flowers. There is an S. You have to read the chapter, read the unit, read the unit. and circle the nouns in the unit. This is your reading task and do not forget that you also have to attempt this part of page number 12 and 13 and for that you have to read the unit or lesson. What for? To find or pick out 10 nouns. I hope you will remember this or else you can repeat this video again and follow the instructions. Diagraphs. The word diagraph means when two letters Combine or join diagraphs. 
when two letters combine or join to make one sound are called digraphs. When we blend two sounds together and then they are taken as one sound, they are called digraphs. Black, blank, blue, digraphs. Grapes, group, grow, digraphs, brown, brain, bring, digraphs. Clock, clear, clown, digraphs, small, smile, smile, smoke, digraph. Let's practice more. Digraphs sh, ch, th. Look at the pictures and write the words in the box underneath the picture. The words may start or end with sh, ch, or th. The first one has been done as an example. Ch, chips. Have a look at these pictures carefully. This is a ship, fish, church, shelf, chain, bathtub, three, shell, hen, sheep, cheese, chocolate, Shirt, think, thumb, ch, chips, ch, church. The word church has two ch sounds. Ch, chain. Ch, chicken, ch, cheese, ch, chocolate, ch, 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 ch. When C and H combine together, they make the sound ch, ship, fish, shelf, shell, Sheep, shirt, the digraph can be in the start of the word or in the end of the word, bath, tub, the digraph is in the middle. The number three, the word think, and the word thumb, all these have 
the T digraph, when T or H combine together, they make a sound T, T thumb, T think, T three, T bat, tub. Now please open your summer pack on page number 10 and 11 so that you can see what is your home task. Please don't forget you also have to read the unit provinces of Pakistan and uh, do your question number 2 where you have to find out 10 nouns from the chapter and write them on the given spaces. This is how your page number 9 and 10 looks like. There is an activity and there are choose the correct option, multiple choice, five questions. You will do it till here. Choose the correct option and write few lines about it. You will write it here on the lines. And for the activity, you have to look at these pictures and match them with the nouns mentioned on this page. I hope that you will be able to do this task all by yourself. So let us have a quick recap of lecture number 1. What is noun? Naming words are called nouns. Names of objects, people and places around us are nouns. A sentence with which we speak, read or write consists of nouns. Thank you. I hope we have learned together. It was nice to be with you. See you soon and please do not forget to do your homework. Until next time, Allah Hafiz.